Today I want to show you how to make the ultimate Ferrero Rocher cake. This cake is a delightfully rich chocolate cake with loads of hazelnuts. It's filled with my chocolate ganache, which is just incredible. And I think the show-stopping element for this cake is that glossy one bowl chocolate sauce that I cover the cake with. It's honestly, it all comes together and makes just an incredible looking cake. Hey guys, I'm Nick and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a really, really good chocolate cake. This is a Ferrero Rocher cake, so let's get started. To a large mixing bowl, you're gonna add some flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder, bicarb soda, some salt, and toasted hazelnuts. Give this a whisk until everything is combined. Now with those hazelnuts, I'm gonna be using lots of it in this recipe, and I'm gonna be using toasted hazelnuts with no skin. I've left instructions on how to toast the hazelnuts, how to get rid of the skins in the written recipe on the website. To a separate bowl, you're gonna be adding some eggs, milk, oil, vanilla extract, and some melted butter. Give that a whisk, and then add the wet to the dry ingredients, Give that a mix, taking care not to over mix, just mix until then there are dry ingredients showing. What makes this cake ultra moist and just so chocolatey is adding boiling water as the last step. I don't know what it is about this ingredient, but it just makes this cake incredible. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Give that a whisk and then distribute it amongst three eight inch cake tins. Bake this for about 30 to 40 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. Cool down. Now, once these are baked, let them cool down at room temperature and then pop in the fridge for a couple of hours at least. Overnight is ideal because working with cold cake is so much easier than working with room temperature cake. So this is an important step. It's gonna make your life easier. Once they've cooled, take them out of the tin and take away the baking paper trim these in half so all up you'll end up with six layers of cake we're going to be filling and covering this cake with my chocolate ganache recipe the recipe for that is over on the scanline.com it's a great recipe and it's really easy to make add a thin layer of chocolate ganache on the first layer of cake and by the way i'm using an offset spatula and a cake turntable which makes this like cake decorating process so much easier add a sprinkling of toasted hazelnuts and then add the next layer of cake and just repeat that until you've got all six layers of cake on there. Now what I didn't show was adding a drizzle of Nutella on each layer. I completely forgot to do that. I had it in the piping bag already next to me and I got carried away with everything else. Anyway, you can do that if you like. Cover this cake with chocolate ganache on top and on the sides. It doesn't need to look perfect, but get it as smooth as you can. And then we're gonna be adding some chopped hazelnuts on the top and the sides of the cake. This cake is not meant to look smooth, it's meant to look bumpy like a Ferrero share. So it's gonna look a little bit rustic, but getting the sides and the top nice and smooth before you add the hazelnuts will make it look a little bit neater. So get those hazelnuts on there, and I'd even go as far as squishing them a little bit, just gently with your hands around the sides and the top. Pop these in the fridge for at least two hours to chill. Overnight, again, is best because we're gonna be covering this with warm chocolate sauce. And because it's warm, if the ganache is not cold, it could melt the cake. So make sure that your cake is really, really chilled. Now, that one bowl chocolate sauce recipe is on my website and I've left the link for this recipe and the chocolate ganache in the recipe for this cake on the website at scramlon.com. I've got tips and tricks up there as well. Lots of information, ingredients, measurements, cups, and grams. Check it out on the scramlon.com. Cover the cake with that sauce and then use an offset spatula to just even it out. This is not gonna look smooth. Again, it's gonna look a little bit bumpy like a Ferrero share. I've actually popped this on top of a cooling rack to let the chocolate drizzle down to a baking tray instead of pooling around the cake. Let this set for about 30 minutes at room temperature and then transfer it to your serving plate. I use two spatulas to do this. Do it slowly and take your time. To finish this cake, you're gonna add some hazelnuts around the bottom of the cake, add some Ferrero shares on top, and this is ready to slice and serve, guys. But I want you to take a look at the inside of the cake because this cake is seriously ultra moist. It's incredible. If you're looking for a great chocolate cake recipe, try this one out. It's on thescrownline.com. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this in my kitchen. 
and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrum Line. Bye!